possibly explaining where the creatures in Fromville came from, Victor remembers a pivotal interaction between a ventriloquist and his puppet in the spooky thriller series from. Fatime, meantime, is dealing with the after-effects of murdering Tilly while under demonic influence, which has repercussions for both her and Ellis, as well as the symptoms of a ghost pregnancy. Returning home, the Matthews family mourns Tilly's untimely death at Fatima's hands. Jim attempts to persuade Tabitha that the horror dreams she had as a youngster were imaginary, but she is adamant about her recollections. Monsters posing as their late son Thomas have been harassing Jim with phone calls, Jim admits. The terrifying telephone calls make Jim and Tabitha understand they have to battle this evil force together. At the pub, Jim questions Jade who he thinks persuaded Tabitha and Ethan to go campouting. In his defense, Jade says that Tabitha approached him after seeing his drawings of the statues and recognized them. Jim is advised to believe Tabitha by Henry, who observed the dispute and recounts his previous mistake of ignoring his wife's dreams, which ultimately came true. Unusual artifacts with an air of otherworldly force were discovered by Julie and Randall. Although Randall was wary and desired to depart, Julie felt an irresistible pull toward the location. When Julie was alone, she chose to investigate the ruins, even though Randall warned her not to. In their pursuit of knowledge, Julie and Ethan revisit the ruins. Ethan likens Julie's exploration to the bravery he saw in his superhero novels and urges her to do the same. Upon entering the ruins, Julie is whisked away to a parallel universe where she finds herself ensnared in chains and wailing in agony. After she rescues an elderly guy named Martin from a well, she finds that Boyd is also stuck below. Because of this, Julie ends up helping Boyd escape the well in the past, setting in motion a time loop. But in her reality, Julie has convulsions, so Ethan goes to the townspeople for aid, and they come to her rescue. While authorities investigate an unintentional murder, Boyd takes refuge with Fatima. After Donna finds out about Fatima's crime, she becomes enraged, but Boyd and Ellis manage to keep the news from her. After being possessed by a spectral woman via a webcam, Elgin takes Fatima to a secret underground sanctuary and draws blood. Elgin, who appears to be under the influence of the monsters, kidnaps Fatima and exposes the fact that she is carrying a baby that is not human. Who knows? Maybe this is Elgin's plan to save the community, or maybe he has turned against humanity. Following Fatima's lead, Boyd and Ellis will have the difficult task of rescuing her while simultaneously coping with the mysterious being she carries within. The toy puppeteer Jasper needed to be brought to life, so Victor paid a visit to Sarah's residence. Because he needed Tabitha, who had accompanied him when he initially laid eyes on Jasper as a grown-up, he insisted that Sarah fetch her. Victor was assisted in remembering the day he witnessed Jasper converse with Christopher by Tabitha and Sarah. They tried to get Jasper to talk, but he remained silent, and Victor believed he had forgotten what had happened. Victor overheard Christopher and an enigmatic boy in white chatting in the church basement when he was a kid. The awful destiny of killed and betrayed children was laid bare by the boy in white, whose souls became distant trees. Despite his pleas, Christopher ignored him and continued on with his plan to free the children from the tower. Victor's memory connects the children's tragic end to the creatures and mysteries of Fromville. Victor told his mom Miranda, who rushed out of town to get the kids at the lighthouse. There may be additional disclosures in the latter episodes of From Season 3, but for now, we don't know what these revelations mean.